so I've been rewatching Konosuba in its entirety. So I've been rewatching season one. I rewatched season two. I rewatched the two OVAs. I also watched the movie again. I did not see Megumin's little special little series because I, I mean, I don't know if I'm actually going to because I don't know how interested I am in her in, as a character. But outside of that, I've been rewatching the other stuff. And this anime is great. Listen, listen. I say it here. It's a great show beloved by many for its dumb ass characters, for its gender equality and for its funny jokes because almost every single episode, if you like rewatch the first few seasons, I'm telling you, you'll probably laugh at one joke per episode at least. But season three is where it got tested. And this is not necessarily something very unique for Konosuba because like if you think about other animes at season three, Mob Psycho season three, it was good. But the hype that was in season one and two and the things that added excitement to the show weren't really there that much. And I'll also say for Slime season three, if any of you guys are watching it, it's airing right now. And it is slow. I call it meetings anime. I call it sit down talk waste time anime <laughs> that 2024 didn't need and on the flip side world trigger season three it was rocking it was amazing it was amazing to watch yeah my point is season three is where a lot of anime get tested so i want to see if connoisseur still holds up so in this video i will be looking into what makes a funny show a comedy anime good to find out whether it still holds up and if you have any time, uh, then check out my description. Yeah, it should be something fun for you to do down there. I see water because um, the UK right now, a bit hot. <laughs> Just as hot as this review is going to be. Because yeah, the first part of this video is my initial review of season three. Just done finished watching it. Uh, it, it just finished this week. And this video is probably the, one of the only videos I'm releasing the same week that I filmed it. How am I going to review things? Well, I have this thing on my channel that I like to do called a narrative immersion review or making a narrative immersion score. What is narrative immersion? Well, narrative immersion is a way to measure our engagement with fictional media. Narrative immersion can be split into two halves, transportation and identification. And this has been validated by multiple psychology studies, including one by yours truly. <laughs> I've taken this concept and made it into a score that I can use to measure fictional media. And that is what I'm going to be using to measure how immersive I think Konosuba season three was. Because, you know, when people do reviews, a lot of the time they just do it from their feelings. But I like to focus on immersion because nine times out of ten, immersion is the way to go. Immersion is what the goal of the show is to immerse you. Right. And so therefore, it is a very good measure of how good I guess the show is so what did I rate it well I rated it a 7 out of 10 compared to other shows as well like Oshinoko and Vinland Saga season 2 they've all gotten like 8s and 9s and stuff like that I've rated and so this a 7 is below what I usually like when I'm watching a show I, I, I like it to be higher than that like an 8 and 9 or 10 even though I've never given anything a 10 what was missing what made me put it back from giving it a full 10. Well, first of all, the inside world. The inside world, which I consider to be the inside of the main character's space. The setting is a good word for it. In this case, it's the guild, it's the, the place they're living at, it's the city or the town they're living at, Axel. The, the, that their base from the very beginning. Each item that makes up the immersion score is out of one. And for this, I rated the inside world a 0.5 purely because it didn't build on anything we already knew from the previous season and therefore it didn't really immerse us that much however we still kind of understood even if this was the first season of Konosuba, which nobody would ever, this would never be the first season that you've ever watched. But if this was the first season you've ever watched of Konosuba, you still kind of understood, ah, there's a guild, there's this, there's that. Interesting events, this was more, oh, this was more tough. Because I, oh, dude, I wanted to give this a zero, but I also gave this a 0 0.5. So interesting events, pretty self-explanatory from the name. The reason I didn't give it a whole full one was that while the time at the capital was fun, and while we 
got to learn different things and see different sites there was literally no change to the status quo ultimately there was also no demon king or, or demon general getting defeated and that equaled no progress to the overall plot so if you really think about it outside of a few things did occur but not enough for me to be like this was an impactful eventful season that captivated me and so that's why i'm giving it 0.5 because it's not necessarily fair to say nothing happened but i don't think that's a full point villains and conflicts is another thing 0.5 again i don't think there was any really big overarching tension to keep us captivated and that was my biggest issue my biggest gripe with this whole villains and conflict thing because there were good little small plots like losing friends you know the very last few episodes with Latina that we just watched uh i just finished yeah that whole whole thing that was very interesting and very you know tense it was sad there were small things along the whole season like or the whole fight with that serpent creature thing i can't remember the name but there was no like overarching tension the whole thing we need to defeat the demon king is slowly becoming less and less interesting there's no time limit really there's no like reason to rush into it because now they're just kind of bored and so then what am i watching them for what am i rooting for them for and another thing that i really i i, I thought about it deeply and i was like oh my god i'm so right <laughs> was the death and failure are not problems usually in a show things like death things like failing are scary they're the, they're the things that worry us but if kazuma can keep resurrecting himself over and over again the whole threat of it that i felt in the beginning is completely wiped in the beginning i was like oh maybe eris isn't gonna send him back to the same world maybe eris isn't now it's just like what's the point there's only so many times you can make that into a joke because they have made it into a joke before and that's funny but he's dying to the point where it's like i'm not even worried about that anymore like that's not even a fear of mine anymore maybe the others can die yeah but can they i mean i feel like it'd be the same kind of thing right so there was a few more i also rated as 0.5 but i wanted to put them all together so it was attention how attention grabbing is it um motives and themes the motifs and themes the beauty of the story the art of the story and how emotionally engaging it was and all of these i think were impacted by the previous points that i made just now outside of the one joke per episode that got a chuckle out of me or the one touching moment every few episodes that made me you know made my heart a sob a bit i wanted to watch it on a second monitor it really wasn't that interesting and it wasn't there was not that many good themes that many good interesting motifs and there were not really that many times where i was that emotion engaged and even when i was emotion engaged i was confused i was like why are you making me sad isn't this a comedy like i was getting mixed messages and i didn't appreciate the way that they executed it i just feel like it wasn't grabbing me much like it wasn't making me really want to see what happened next consistently and i think that that is something that the other seasons may not have struggled with as much overall for me while season three was good or it was decent a lot of the things that were decent about it were from the previous seasons i mean the good characters that are funny and dumb and stupid i already liked them because of the previous seasons and then the good world building that we saw with the whole concepts of magic and everything a lot of this stuff is built from the previous seasons and then we have the goal that they're rooting for again which was empathized in the previous seasons whereas in this season it was pretty much absent i would say like maybe they would make one or two comments but it was like that wasn't even the point i think this is yeah like i said i'm pretty sure this is like the only season no demon lord or demon general have been defeated so it was kind of like what was the point of it if we're not moving towards the goal what's the point and that's why i honestly think that this this whole previous knowledge of the show has actually inflated the score because as a standalone it really wasn't that immersive but does immersion really matter is my question this is a comedy anime right and as i was writing this i thought isn't comedy supposed to be the most important thing here it's easier to explain why something is choreographed really well or something is very sweet and romantic but harder to explain why something is funny so then how can i therefore say that it is failing as an anime because it's not immersive if it is 
to other people very funny it's a comedy anime so what does the immersion matter why does it matter i don't know if it does i really don't and so i think that maybe i should try and look at other people's way of reviewing this anime let's let strangers have a say because that's never gone badly ever in the history of ever <laughs> most other reviews focus on humor or that is something very relevant in their review compared to me who focus much more on immersion because that's how i usually do my reviews a lot of people think that Connor super season 3 is pretty good because it is similar to the previous seasons or it's better than the se previous seasons they're comparing it they think it met expectations it was a good show they, they it told the story that it wanted to tell that entertained everybody that was around and watching and enjoying it was a good sequel it held up to the reputation that Konosuba has etc 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 yeah then i looked further into it i looked for other people this is about focusing on humor so while somebody said it's good because it's funny it's just as funny as the previous season it's just as good somebody else was talking about the manga i have not read the manga i will not read the manga <laughs> but somebody was talking about how they think that it was skipping plots and deeper jokes that it was a mid adaptation which is something i had no idea about so i read a little bit just more talking about how, how there was supposed to be character development happening here that they just cut out and honestly from watching that last episode episode 11 i really understand because a lot of the jokes were just flash gag humor just quick paced and for me they didn't make me laugh but the first person might think they were funny and so it was still just as good but the manga reader would agree with me and think ah there was no depth to these jokes there was no depth to these characters they cut out a lot of things and so by that metric oh maybe it isn't good you know or maybe it's mediocre and then there are the comedy fans the fans of comedy anime in general comedy shows people who are actually critiquing the comedy aspect of it very specifically the comedy aspect of it and in terms of that people were saying that it fell off people were saying that the jokes were corny now like i mentioned they were saying that the jokes were not that funny there was no nuance to them especially if you think about stand-up comedy jokes that has a bit of length and longevity whereas this show which kind of did feel like that in a sense just kind of did more puns you know more short-term relief jokes that nobody really finds the premium of humor the premium comedy you know that tasteful and the, the comedy connoisseurs love you know that kind of stuff so i i and i get i get that as well i think that's a very valid way of seeing it a comedy anime should be measured by its comedy and therefore these reviews are very valid they are probably more valid than my review or any review that doesn't take into account the comedy perhaps even more than immersion because like i said with immersion i'm trying to get more of I mean it's not objective but you know the closest I could get to objectivity with rating a show by having a psychology guided format <laughs> of reviewing something in comparison to that comedy like I mentioned is super super subjective like insanely subjective it's one of the most subjective things out there so really the immersion isn't very valid when talking about comedy anime but then comedy is super super subjective in comparison to immersion so what do we do when we're trying to review connoisseur and shows like connoisseur you guessed it maybe you did maybe you didn't i'm gonna assume you did because i'm hoping that you did but if you didn't it's all right because i'm gonna tell you right now we measure both we combine both methods and we use both immersion and comedy to review shows like connoisseur like all good things in life we should mix and match come to a consensus come to a summary come to a conclusion where we're all of our minds come together and we come so i'm going to adjust my review i'm gonna look at my review and kind of just reconsider what i was thinking initially in the first place when i was making my initial initial review usually in my reviews i'll consider whether something was immersive and that will determine whether i give it a one or a zero or a 0 0.5 this time i will also consider whether it was funny too whether the whole concept or the jokes about it were funny to me 
and that should help me to rate Konosuba season 3. Now, with these changes, I rate this an 8.5. That's what I rate Konosuba, which is inflated even more. So I'm going to do a little average because I'm just being so, so very particular about this nonsensical review. That I'm going to add maths and the concept of maths to it. So 7 plus 8.5 divided by 2 is... 7.75 let's just go with 8 because 7.75 is a bit stupid yeah so i'd rate it an 8 if i was considering it as a comedy anime specifically this is the answer right this is how i should measure comedy anime right and therefore this is how i see konosuba season 3 right maybe i really think that when reviewing a comedy anime like konosuba it depends on how seriously the show takes itself most comedy animes just revert back to the status quo they don't have much emotionally engaging scenes at all they don't take themselves seriously in that sense but konosuba has emotional scenes that they don't turn into jokes really and if they are jokes they're really not fucking funny <laughs> it consistently tries to tell a story outside of just frankly just humor and just jokes and so therefore in this situation it was more appropriate to measure this comedy anime through the lens of both comedy and immersion and therefore the more truer score isn't the seven that i gave it initially but the eight that i gave when taking into account how funny it was whereas for shows like grand blue and prison school i would just be rating it purely on how funny it is and not at all taking into account the immersion in the slightest anyway that's why i think konosuba season three was more funny than it was immersive hence why i have this weird kind of feeling about it it was boring but still kind of funny so how do i feel about it i don't know i gave it an eight that's how i feel i guess <laughs> if you want to do one thing then subscribe otherwise check out my other videos on my channel and let me know whether you agree you think it was like an a if you take everything into account or if you disagree and you think it's worse or better or if you don't think that we should measure comedy anime by how immersive it is and how funny it is at the same time so we can all have a chat about it in the comments down below and let's say quick goodbye good janyong 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 it's hot in the uk let me all sit down it's like that fucking spud